In this video, we are going to discuss about open source software. So let's first see what an open software is. A software whose source code is freely distributed with a license to study, change or further distribute to anyone for any purpose is called an open source software. Why open source software is made available? Because not everybody can pay for a software. Dedicated programmers will improve upon that source code and they will share the changes within the community. So if you are using an open source software, then if you are a member of that community, then you will get to know what are the new changes that are being made in that software and then you can use the new software. Open source software provides these advantages to the users because of its communities only. Security, affordability, transparency, interoperability, flexibility and localization. What it essentially means is that if you are someone who wants to develop a software but you cannot afford to do it from scratch, you do not have the time, you do not have the expertise, you do not have that much of money to invest. So you can take an open source software that is related to it and then you can just develop or customize it according to your own needs, make it that much more flexible and then you can use it further. So that is what an open source software is. There are two types of open source software. Let's look at them. The first one is the freeware. What is a freeware? It is available free of cost for use and distribution, but it cannot be modified. Why it cannot be modified? Because its source code is not available. It is still called an open software, open source software because you don't have to pay for it. Some of the examples include Google Chrome that you use for browsing the web or Skype that you use for chatting or Adobe Acrobat PDF Reader that you use for reading PDF files. There is another type of open source software that is called the shareware. What is shareware? It is initially free and can be distributed but it needs to be paid for after a stipulated period of time. Why? Because the source code is not available. For example, if you are using a software called WinRAR for compressing your files. So initially you can download it for free, but after 45 days, it will ask you to pay for it. Otherwise you cannot use it. So it is an example of shareware. In this video, we have discussed about open source software that we can use for free. In the next video, we are going to discuss about proprietary software.